Hey, so you picked yourself a nice, fantastic little model. You can't wait to print it. You get to Kira or whatever your slicer program is. And yet you sit there and you wonder what layer height you're going to want to go with today because you're looking at time and quality. And today's episode, I've gone through and I've done the hassle of printing between 0.04 and 0.4 on a 0.4 millimeter nozzle for a Creality CR10. So we're going to compare those results and ultimately find out where you're finding your best time management and your best quality. Let's dive into it. Hey, how's it going? I'm Jester from Jester's 3D Tabletop Gaming. I hope you're having a good day. I have been just so curious as to what was actually possible with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So I kind of sat down and I just did a little bit of an experiment. I branched all the way from 0.04 to 0.08 to 0.12 to 0.16, all the way to 0.4. And I, I, I marked down the times, which we're, we're gonna be going over. And I took up some, uh, some photos so we can take a look at those and really find out what the best management is between your, your your time spent into a print and the quality that you're going to receive in the end there. Uh, I do find that there's a nice little balance where you're, you're not sacrificing too much time, but you still get the quality that you need. I'm using the Fat Dragon Games uh, profile for Kira. I'm gonna drop a link down for that below. Uh, it, it's been great for me. It's been absolutely fantastic. Today's models are from Fat Dragon Games as well, and it is the turtle model. Uh, I used the same model, and pretty much every other variable stayed the same throughout the entirety of these print uh, scenarios to keep it nice and consistent. Uh, I was printing a little bit faster than I would have normally for this situation, but I realized it after I printed the first one, and I wanted to keep things consistent. So you'll see that as well as I will share the cure profile that I have used. You can see it right in front of you, right now. You're looking at it, check it out. What do you think? So this first model that you're checking out was 0.04 and it took eight hours and 50 minutes to print this miniature. That's a very long time to print one tiny little turtle. And honestly, I don't know if, if the 0.4 nozzle just can't really handle that fine of detail because I just, I don't find the quality to be as good. As, as even the 0.08. The 0.08, in my opinion, uh, turned out m much better all, in all aspects. And uh, that only took four and a half hours. I mean, four and a half hours for a miniature is still a very long time, especially a miniature this size. I mean, this is, this is just a regular tabletop mini. It's nothing special, it's no big boss, nothing like that. Four and a half hours is quite a, wa quite a while to, to be waiting for, for a mini. Uh, the point one two uh, came in at uh, three hours even, uh, so I mean you're, you're getting a little bit better. Three hours is not a bad time to wait, and the quality on a point one two is is just fantastic. Uh, if I'm going to be printing any miniatures myself, I'm generally printing them at a at a point one two or. I, I, you know what, I usually spend the extra time and go with a 0.08 myself, so. The 0.16 was 2 hours and 13 minutes, so you're starting to save yourself time, but this is where the models, they're just not looking good, especially for this scale, right? This is a small model for great amount of detail to just not be showing through as it should. Uh, then you get to the 0.2, which is 1 hour and 47 minutes, and, and things are starting to go downhill real fast here. <laughs> Next up, we got the 0.24, and that's one hour and 35 minutes, and it's, yeah! 0.28, it's not, not looking any better. It's, it's bad, it's getting real bad. That was one hour and 18 minutes. So the next two models, don't, don't print these. Don't be that guy. Don't, don't show up with them at your table. Mind you, from a distance, it doesn't look that bad. Right, from a, from a distance, it doesn't look bad. You get up close. Whoa, not good, not good. That is an ugly model. Swipe that off the table, throw that into the trash bin, just chuck it across the room, light it into a fire, purge it, just just don't do it. Maybe for some, some terrain, some large models, might be all right, but we're talking about the 0.32 and the 0.4. Uh, the 0.32 took an hour and 12 minutes. Quick, really quick. I mean, if you need some quick models to just boom, 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 to get something on the table, it's gonna work for you. I don't know if it would work with supports. These these were all printed supportless. 
and the point force. Oh, 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 oh. 54 minutes. Terrible, 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 terrible quality. It's just, it's no good. It's, it's bad. It's real bad. It's bad. That's right. I just lambed like a sheep. None of these models took any difference in plastic. They all printed at five grams of plastic. You're looking at like a seven hour difference between the the two extremes on both ends here. And I mean like that that's quite a while. That seven hours is a very long time. Uh, and if you are looking for the best quality that you can get, once again, I will recommend the .08 or the .12. Uh, it's just at that level and that speed, you're, you're getting some great quality. And I don't know why my .04 didn't turn out as, as good as it could have. Like I said, I don't know if it's just that the, it really shouldn't be handling that small of a nozzle because it, it's still only a .4 millimeter nozzle for the, the CR-10. You know what, you'd think to, to go anything lower than a .04, you'd need a .2 millimeter nozzle, but that didn't seem to be the case. Uh, I, I managed to print all these just fine. So, But for me, it was a fun little experiment. I had a really good time with it. Uh, it it's a good showcasing as to what these printers are capable of and, and just something as simple as layer height, how much of a difference it can make in in your in your time, 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 time. Schlippity-boo. Hey. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Thank you. I've got myself an army of turtles. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna have to find some kind of a D&D scenario where I can throw a bunch of turtles at a buddy. Now they're all wielding the same weapons and one of them is just hideous. And you know, they cast stones at him and stuff like that, but what do you do? So anyhow, I had a lot of fun uh, throwing this little test scenario together. I I've also got some ideas about potentially print speeds and ranging from low to high, finding out how that does with uh, print quality. Uh, I'm curious as to if people want to see one with buildings. Uh, I'd be terrified to do a .04 on a building and how long that would take to print. <laughs> so for my longest print is still three days, uh, but it, it was a good time. It was a good print. I, I had a lot of fun with it. Schlippity-boo! Did you notice that, by the way? That was uh, gonna be a Halloween prop. Well, it was a Halloween prop. I printed it, painted it, and then I slapped it on top of a humidifier, and then I put a flame light, that same flame light right there, raked along the side of it so it looked like he was blowing fire, but by, by the time Halloween was done, I wasn't ready to be done with it. It was a really cool skull, so I had to make that plaque and then mount it, because now it just looks amazing. And it's on my wall, and it's so cool! 3D printers are just the bomb diggity. Yeah, that's right, they're just the best. So if, if some of those things are something that you'd be interested in seeing on this channel, definitely let me know and, and I can throw up some tests and do different variables and check different parameters and find out kind of what makes a difference overall in your print quality. And there we go. So anyhow, if, if you gained useful knowledge from this video, let me know in the comments below because I wanna know if these videos are helping you guys. You guys are fantastic. Just gonna say that. You guys go forth and print something fan diddly tastic. I wanna know what you're printing. Also, let me know in the comments what you're currently printing and if you know of any cool uh, projects to print. So I'm Jester. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. Until the next time, bye bye. <laughs>